Hey friends, it's Missy again. Thanks for joining me for episode two of Stretch Your Sketch. If you would like some of Ashley's cut files that she designed for this series, you can find the link down below. And this is the sketch that we have been working with for the past two weeks. And for this week, we decided to flip the sketch. And so I actually flipped it the other direction, but my photos are going to be stacked on top of each other just like that in the flipped sketch. So I'm going to start with these photos that are of my daughter in the pool. You know, those are my favorite kind of layouts to make, pool layouts. And instead of using stitch circles like on the sketch, I decided to get creative and jazz it up a little bit and I made some spiral circles. And I actually just got into my Silhouette software and used the freehand tool and just kind of sketched these out myself and then offset it made different sizes and welded it together and this is how it turned out. I was very pleased with how that turned out. Pretty easy to do if you just get in your software and play around with it if you have a Cameo. Now I'm just going to use a couple of different things here to color the cut file and it's still on my cutting mat and doing something like this will not mess it up because I'm not using a, a bunch of mixed media. I'm not using a lot of paint, I'm not using a lot of liquid just a little bit here and there and so it is not going to seep through the paper and it's not going to mess up the cutting mat. So I'm using a yellow paint dabber here. I'm using some shimmers and this is Vibes Sweetheart and Vibes Sunset Strip and I believe this is Coloring's Pretty in Pink. And my idea here is just to smudge some color around to give these spirals a nice bright sunshiny color. I want pinks, oranges, yellows. I want something to contrast against the blue in the pictures. And so this is just basically having fun and making a mess. There's no right or wrong way to do this. And I just want color. And when I peel this off, it's going to look super cool, I think. And since the nature of this design is a spiral, it's going to take me a little bit of time to unpeel it or peel it off, I guess you could say unpeel it. That didn't even make any sense. Peel it off and um, it's going to curl up a little bit just because it's a thin line of paper. But when I go to glue it down on my background, it's perfect. It does not mess up at all. And so this was fun to make. Uh, I highly suggest if you've never designed your own cut file, just to go into your silhouette and try it. You know, you never know what you may be able to draw. And this is an easy design to start with, a spiral circle. So it did take me a little bit of time to do this. Uh, I had to be very careful because I didn't want to rip any of the paper. So that looks like a hot mess. <laughs> but I did have to, you know, work at it to get it straight again. But it's all good. I love how it turned out. I love the different colors on it. And that was really easy to do. And this is a great idea to try if you want to make your own backgrounds. So I pulled out another white cardstock and I'm going to use that as my background. And I want to focus on a little bit more blue. And I know that's exactly where I want my pictures to go. So I'm going to do a light pencil trace around them. So when I remove everything, I will know exactly where they're going to go. So I'm going to take some acrylic paint, and this is just a tube of Artist Loft acrylic paint that I picked up at Michael's when they were having, I think it was a, a buy three, get the fourth one free, or something like that. Or maybe they were just a percentage off, but I got a couple of tubes just to try them. And I really like this paint. It's pretty thin, easy to smudge on. And I'm just going around where I traced and just kind of scraping it on with this card here. And I just want it to look kind of messy and kind of resemble the water in the pool and I want it to show through the cut file here but I don't want to do too much because I have a lot of blue going on in the pictures so I'm going to keep going I'm going to continue to use this acrylic paint I'm going to water some down here on a piece of plastic packaging and use my brush here add a little bit of shimmers to it just to give it a little bit of a different tone and I'm going to add some splatters. I'm just tapping the brush and kind of flicking it around. You can get big splatters, tiny splatters. Just depends on how much water you have on your brush. I 
I'm just trying to dab up a little bit so I can keep working and not have to use my heat tool there. So this is kind of the idea of what I wanted to go for here. I didn't want a lot of blue, like I said, and I like the way that looks. It looks like she's kind of just coming out of the water there, and there's even more water behind her with the same color of blue. I'm going to add a little bit of vellum behind my pictures just to kind of give them a little bit of separation from the background. And then you know me and my thread, I have to jazz it up a little bit. And this is going to help break up the blue in the background and the blue in the photos. And this is just some hot pink thread. I'm going to add it underneath the picture there. And you do the same thing with yellow. The main colors in this, surprise, surprise, are blue, pink, and yellow. I really need to challenge myself to use different colors. I can't help it. Those are just my favorite colors. So now I'm going to take some time, and it does take some time. I don't film this entire process, but I go through and around each spiral and glue it down. And as you can see there, as I glue it, it lays flat. And so the circles wind up looking like they did when they were on the cutting mat. Now here's where I come in with just some things that are laying around on my desk. I had uh, these cloud things, cloud things, cloud shapes cut out. One of them is from a Bella Boulevard paper and the other one I cut from one of my hip kit papers. It's an ombre paper. And I also cut out the word summer using that same paper and I'm going to do a ho not horizontal oh my goodness vertical title since we flipped a sketch and the title is going up I'm going to add just some doodads here and there underneath the pictures and I love how those clouds look even though they're clouds I'm going to use them just like this for layering pieces and I think that looks pretty neat. Just gives something different coming from behind the pictures and it breaks up the blue on blue. And the ombre paper is so pretty because it kind of encompasses all the yellows, oranges, and pinks. And I love the contrast of the word summer against the yellow and the blue. And I'm just going to add some more thread. I added a little bit of blue on the upper right and a little bit more pink. And then these are some die cuts from the Sunshine and Happiness Simple Stories collection. And I believe that says Happy Day. I'm going to add a little bit of orange. Now this is some ribbon from my stash. I was actually, I had pulled out my ribbon stash to work on a different project. And so I had some just laying around on my desk. And that pink ribbon matched the pink in my layout perfectly. So I just thought I would cut a little strip and add just a little pink line in between the two pictures. Now I'm going to go through a lot of the Simple Stories pieces here and try to find some embellishments that I really love and that will work with this. Because if you remember on the sketch there are lots of arrows and stars and hearts. And so I'm going to use different embellishments in place of those. I'm going to use that little chipboard sun in the upper left in place of one of the hearts. I'm going to add some thread under it just to add a pop of blue in that area. And then I'm going to add that orange hot, hot, hot and balloons. I'm obsessed with putting balloons on summer pages lately. I don't know. I just, maybe it's the colors. It just, balloons remind me of a celebration and she just looks so happy in the pictures. And so I thought, you know what? I'm going to use these balloons. And I'm going to also use a couple of these little stickers. So I'm going to use an orange one up at the top. And we're going to try to work in a couple of flare buttons from my stash. I'm 
more thread. I just love how thread can add a little pop of color because down in that area, I didn't really have anything blue. And so I just pulled out some blue thread and there you go. I definitely want to use this cute emoji flare with his sunglasses. And all my flare are from a flare for buttons. So you can get all of these in the a flare for buttons shop. And again, like I said, even though the sketch had arrows and stars and hearts, clearly you do not have to use those exact things in those areas. And so as you can see, I'm just kind of, from here on out, I'm just kind of doing what I feel looks good as far as embellishments go. Um, I'm not necessarily following the sketch to a T, so I'm not going to have an exact embellishment in the exact spot that's on the sketch. But the general idea is there, the circles are there, the, the photos are flipped, the title is going up the side. I also add some, added some uh, sequins, some little blue sequins going around the page and another heart sticker. And then I drew some lines and I'm going to come in with my journaling. And this page is almost finished. I had a lot of fun making this. Um, I love making my backgrounds like this and just coming up with different shapes and ideas. And I probably would not have thought of this if I had not seen this sketch. So this is just one idea that you can do by flipping the sketch and getting the same idea, but just using it in a different direction. So there's the final layout. I did add the, the white cardstock to some bright blue cardstock on the background to give it a little extra pop of blue. But there's the final layout. I really love how it turned out. I had a lot of fun doing this. So make sure you stay tuned for next week. We've got two more episodes coming in this series where we're going to do something else with a sketch. So thank you for watching and I will see you next week. Have a great day.